What's cracking, y'all? It's your boy Futuristic back with another video on Indie Amplify. You see the mother freaking drip. If you need you some gear from Indie Amplify, make sure you go to the link in the bio when you get you that gear. Today, I want to talk about how to book your own shows. Concerts are back. Y'all been asking me this in the comments. How do you book your own shows? Here we go. First of all, look for the venues that are in your area. Find their email addresses and contact the venue. When you contact this venue, you should be very specific on what your intentions are. Hello, my name is Futuristic. I am an artist in this area. I really want to do a show here. I have this reason why I'm doing the show. Let's say it's my album release show. This is my fan base. This is my Facebook, my Instagram, my Twitter. This is what I do. I've opened up for these artists. I've sold these amount of tickets. I would love to do a show here, and this is why. Be very direct, be very clear, be very precise on why you want to do a show at that venue. Maybe compliment the venue on why you love that venue, who you might have saw there before, and why you want to be there. When you do that, you're going to get one of three answers. The first answer is no. They might not want you to do that. They might not want you to throw the show. In that case, you've got to go to another venue. Second thing they're going to do is ask you to rent the venue. This is a cool option depending on how expensive it is. If you can get it for cheap, it might be better to rent the venue so that you can keep all the money. The third thing is they might offer you a door deal or some sort of split where they're gonna give you the venue for free and in return you're gonna bring people and you guys are gonna split the profit. What a door deal is is basically say every single person that comes to the door is gonna pay $30 to get in. You and this venue are gonna come to an agreement of, hey, it's gonna be 50-50 or 60-40 or whatever. So you're gonna split this money in half, you get $15, they get $15. So if you can get the venue for free and do that, you really have nothing to lose. That's always the best route to go unless you know you're gonna bring a ton of people and you can get the room for cheap. After you get the venue locked in, everything's set. You got the date, you got the times, you know how much it's gonna cost or if you're gonna do a door deal, you need to get openers. So you're gonna look around your city. Maybe you already have a bunch of homies that rap. Maybe you don't. You're gonna look around for other artists in the city and you are going to put them on the bill and have them open up and sell tickets to perform at your show. Now this could be interesting because depending on how big of an artist you are, some of the people in your city that you want to perform with you might be bigger than you. One thing I could say is if an artist is bigger than you and you're getting them to perform with you, do not go after them. Let them go last. Whoever's the biggest artist on the bill should go last. You book them, you give them a split that makes sense for them, and you go before them. This is something that I always used to do when I was booking my first couple tours. I would reach out to venues, I'd rent a venue, I would then book an artist who lived in that area, and then I would open up for that artist. No matter what the situation, you need these artists to sell tickets. So how it usually works when venues do it is you say, hey, I want you to sell 30 tickets to the show. That's the only way you can be on it. To sell 30 tickets, you give me half the money for the 30 tickets up front. And then when you sell the tickets, you're going to get that money and more money back for selling the tickets. So you do a split with them just like the venue is doing with you. Normally, the venue will have its own ticketing system or can at least refer you to another ticketing system. But if they don't, use events.com. The link is in the description. Last but not least, make sure you are capitalizing on all these people that are going to come to your show. You got the openers. You booked the venue. You announced it. You promoted it. You got all these people coming to your show. Make sure that you're selling your merch at the show. Make sure you're doing a meet and greet. Make sure you're doing a VIP bundle. You're selling tables and bottles if that's a thing. Make sure you are really capitalizing on this show. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to know more about concerts and how to perform and how to do shows, we have a ton of videos on Indie Amplify, like, like how to open up for big artists, concerts in 2021, how to get over your stage fright, how to make your own merchandise, and plenty other tools on our website to help you with performing and doing shows. All the links are in the description. Hope to see y'all next time. Sheesh, sheesh.